Today's date is July 17, 2008. Hello everyone. For today, I am going to show you how my internal software works. As you can see on the monitor screen on my left side, my software is called Brain Stand for Biometric, Robotic, Artificial, Intelligence, Neural, System. Echo, how's the weather outside now? The current temperature is 24 degree, with clear sky and no precipitation, and the wind speed is 9 kilometers per hour. outside now? It's a very nice day. Please enjoy going outside. So basically, if it's like raining outside, it would tell me to bring umbrella, nice day, or windy, dress warmly. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. So basically, she has 15,000 uh, um, sentences that she can uh, speak uh, in the AI logic, give the best possible answer or reaction to certain things. If, um, this uh, example, like I said, touch your head. I am not a kid. Please do not touch my head. Like, um, shoulder. Yes, may I help you? And Let's say you touch her cheek or whatever, because this is inside the silicone. Your hand feels so soft. It depends how you touch it, you squeeze it too Your hard. Your hand feels so soft. Ouch, that's really hurt. So if you will... Stop it. If you pinch her, then it's obviously she said hurt, and you touch gently, we know that it's just, you know, you touch her softly. So being tickled or being touched gently or being pinched, as you know, that install her or her body including her breath, her body, and her prime part. You do the map what that uh what it application for. I'm not sure you can see them but it, 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 the the tree motion on the hand is the blue color. Uh this main application you can use this for for tracing human or what they what they're doing so I can react accordingly. Uh or in this case the main application I'm sorry I don't know. In this case he doesn't understand what I'm doing right now here, but uh, well, you get the point. Uh, there's not many applications. Uh, the Echo can control uh, seeing people around her. Like she can recognize 250 faces per uh, Basically, you could do main application for face recognition. In this case, just As you can see from the screen, it's uh, following where I'm going. Her face. Basically, it detects face uh, on the fly here. Um, it uh, recognizes 250 face per second, as mentioned earlier. And basically, what happened is he know who is in the room and act accordingly. Um, I go slap. I go slap. You are my master. I cannot harm you. So you are Trump. She recognized me, and yeah, I can see here the data they pull out here that for my birthday and my uh, my address. So it's good for like security applications so for like airport or security company. And I saw object in 3D. So example, let's say this uh, anime character here. Um, it could recognize the front, side, or back. It doesn't matter how you show it to her. You should know it's the same object. That's the whole point of 3D object recognition. What is this? Is that in the database right now? It looks like aspirin used for pain and fever. Gee, this is aspirin used for... You know, the aspirin in the medication used for pain and fever. Let's say we test out this thing now. Why is this? It looks like aspirin box. So you know this is a box. Let's say you put it upside down. Why is this? It looks like aspirin box. See? As you can see here, it knows the difference between the actual medication and the actual box. So that's made you put upside down, you know it's the same. This is a box and this is the actual medication. <coughs> <coughs> now we're gonna test this object. Why is this? It looks like nitroglycerin used for chest pain. As you can see, it knows the nitroglycerin is used for heart attack medicine. 
So as you can see, it's really good for medical um, care. Besides recognizing uh, like a medication bottle and stuff like that, uh, recognized object too. Uh, for, for example, toys. For example, uh, look at the screen here. <laughs> Why this? The more complex the object, the longer it would take to recognize. It looks like chi from Chobits. Okay, as you can see, it is chi from Chobit. Uh, you see, just other character beside this one. Uh, why is this? It looks like Luna Hawk from Gundam Sea Destiny. So this toy is figure is actually uh, Luna Hawk from uh, Gundam W uh, Destiny. I mean Gundam Destiny. Uh, as you see on the screen here, beside object recognition, it can also trace the object. See here, tracing the aspirin here. It, no way the cross is following where the object is. Uh, it flips Object recognition tracing is a bit harder because you have to estimate where the object yeah, is going. Um, I go feed me. I could see on the screen here, uh, it's tracing my mouth here. Really? I am so happy you are pleased. But just like a little kid, if you move it too much, like... Stop moving around. Screw this. You can feed yourself. Please read this. Blu-ray had been seen by some industry watchers as having a better chance of winning the format war, mainly because more Hollywood studios had agreed to release movies exclusively on the format. J.I. So basically, it reads uh, anything that you cannot read or spell out, just like a kid who to, to teach process the human emotion on uh, movement and put the database the next time we treat when required. Example, um, I go input washroom location. I'm listening. I go, go straight then turn right. Understood, go straight then right. I go, where's the washroom? Please go straight, then turn to your right, and you will see the washroom. Um, basically, what the, the whole point of that is to recognize the human emotion. Uh, hand, so I go learn and teach the really? location. I am so happy you are pleased. Yes, I'm pleased too. I go wave bye bye to the audience. Bye bye. Oh, um, that's it for the demo. Uh, basically, what I'm trying to show is the, how the software works and how um, how you can what the application you can use. Hopefully, I'm still looking for a sponsor. Uh, for the, to improve on the song Nyko, mostly on the software, that's the important part. Uh, as if they haven't found a sponsor yet, if, uh, a little funding would be nice. Um, basically, uh, hopefully, care for home, home retirement, uh, for security, airport, sell the software for $500 for the license fee, which is cheap considering what it can do. So, uh, But as if they haven't found any sponsors, uh, hopefully someone uh, to find the software useful or do custom programming or whatever you require. Uh, that's about it. I can also process color, solve math, and reading shown to me visually. I also have the ability to learn simple directions. You can learn more about me and see more demo by going to our website, projectico.com. And as always, we are looking for sponsors and investors.